Alright guys, welcome, 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 welcome to How to Catch a Viewbotter. I'm your host, Brian Titan, and today what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you in episode one how to set up the abilities to catch a viewbotter. Alright, we're going to start with number one, the IRC program that's going to tell you exactly how many viewers are in the viewer list. Now, granted, they do have chatbots which can put names in your user list so it is hard to catch them like that but this is a good way of catching what we call a cheap botter people who don't pay enough or don't want the accounts they just want the views so there's two good programs you can use one's called xchat you can get it at xchat.org then hexchat which you can get at hexchat.github Dot io and that's g-i-t-h-u-b dot io um, now xchat is a paid service hexchat is free once you get them you'll want to set it up so you set up your nickname as whatever you want you know mine's like brian or brian titan or brian underscore it's something weird but this doesn't matter it's you and you're on the network you're going to add one you're going to name it twitch.tv and then you're going to click edit you hit enter and hit edit. When you edit, it's going to say servers for twitch.tv. You're going to click and you're going to edit what they have in there. They'll have something like new server slash 6667. You're going to put an irc.twitch.tv. Hit enter. If you don't hit enter, it will not save it. All right, then you're going to go down here and you're going to use nickname. Make sure none of these boxes are clicked. Is your actual username for Twitch. Then your username is your actual username. Make sure the only box that is clicked is the auto connect to this network at startup. All right, then you're gonna need the server password, which means it's it's the password for your Twitch, but it's not the actual password you use. It's called the auth password. And the way you get that is you can go to this little thing right here. It's called twitchapps.com slash CMI. And what you do is that you'll go here, it'll tell you Twitch Chat All Password Generator. Basically meaning that it gives you your actual password. You don't have to give it your password and It's automatically going to give it to you because you're going to connect with your Twitch. All right, this is a safe site, so feel free to use it. I will put all the links into the description. You click Connect with Twitch. All right. Another thing I like to use is called Better Twitch TV. You can get this at nightdev.com slash better TTV. Or you can just go to nightdev.com, click project, and then you can get a better Twitch. All right. Now, we're going to get to why Hexchat is so good. All right. You see this guy. His name is H O O C H R R R. All right. I'm pretty sure he's. Like Russian or some some sort of the nature. Not sure, don't care. But he's a botter. As you see, it says he has 336. At one point, he's had 498. Alright, what you're going to do is you're just going to copy this. Hey, copy. You'll go here. You'll join a channel. And you'll join a channel, like boom. And boom, look at this. This is his channel, all right? 336 people. All right, now it says six OPs, which means six mods, including himself, even if he's actually even in his channel, which, yeah, he is. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, let me do this for you. Okay, sorry. All right, anyway, click join. You enter their name here. Boom. So it's already got loaded. This is what it's going to look like. All right. And you see, it says he's got six OPs. That's mods, bots, such as Nightbot, Moobot, whatever, and the streamer himself, if he's watching this channel. And then 190 total. That's, that's including the mods and all. That's 190 viewers acting the thing. That means he has 141, which is almost 50% that is not in the channel with him. Which can go and tell you that this guy is you botting. Now, if the guy is sitting at 500, 
there's a damn good chance that if he has like 400 in his channel, that there could be, you know, 100 that's not signed in. But when you're looking at anywhere from like a, like a 50 to like 35%, there's a good chance they might be botting. What you can do is you can watch the chat. This guy's chat's not moving fast at all. I mean, you, you're, you're seeing it yourself. For 300-something people, his chat would be slamming. You know, they would be talking about, oh, man, that's a nice shot, whatever. I mean, obviously, it's a foreign language, so. But, I mean, as you can even tell, look, like, there's a bot here that keeps just spamming his stuff. The Crutcher TV. And, as you can see, there's, like, two people that's doing the main talking. The CPT, ILV, and this K E N N N N Z zero, um, and even this T one O X A, you know, these are like the three main names you're seeing that are going through. I mean, obviously, he's botting. <clears throat> All right, I don't carry bots. I could give a shit less. Don't go to this guy, insult him, call him a bot or whatever. Maybe he's not botting himself. Maybe he's being attacked. Maybe one of his friends actually paid someone to bot him and he doesn't realize it. I'm not saying that a streamer is necessarily a bad person because he has bots in his channel. There are people out there who bot just for shits and giggles. There are people out there who bot to try to help their friends or to help someone they like. <clears throat> and then there's people out there that do it, that, that'll pay for bots or that'll bot just for malice intent to make them look bad. <clears throat> but the thing is, is that at the end of the day, this is how to catch a botter. This is how you catch a botter. Now, what I'll do over the next you know, week or two is I'll go through and I'll catch a couple botters. Now, CSGO is like one of the, one of the top games that people bot for. CSGO, Hearthstone, League of Legends, all of them. They're just super botted. Super botted. Twitch don't give a shit because Twitch doesn't even own Twitch anymore. Google owns it. Come September, when Google translate everything over, maybe things will change. Who knows? But until then, this is the state of Twitch. We should just call it Bot Central. But, I mean, at the end of the day, bots don't make people money, bots don't get people partnered, uh, and bots just make you look stupid. So, remember this. 35% or more not logged in probably presents their botter. Two or three people mainly talking in their chat when there's like three or four hundred and you can actually see the chat and it's not going by too fast. Probably a botter. The streamer, not necessarily himself, is a botter. But this channel is getting botted. This guy here is getting botted. As you can see, 2,979 viewers. I'll show you another little helpful tool you can see. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to use Social Blade. Alright. Da -da -da -da! Social Blade. Alright, look at this right here. Now this right here will tell you how many views someone's getting in a day. Alright. This can be fucked with. Without a doubt. But still. This guy was getting three or 400 people. He'd be getting a lot more than, you know, 1, 1, 56, 67, 37 followers a day. He'd probably get somewhere along the lines of 100 to, to 150 followers a day. Alright. This right here. This guy streams for 24 hours. Alright. 24 fucking hours. The legit viewership is going to alternate at least 30 times. So if he has 300 viewers... So we're, going to, we're going to do 335. And we're going to times it by 30. 10,000 is what he should be getting. Let's see, watch.
Alright. See, he's got like maybe a legit 192. And this is the viewer count of this. 576. Now I want you to look at his numbers. Now explain to me. Explain to me. How am I so close with my prediction? Doesn't make sense, does it? My name is Brian Titan. This is how to catch a botter. If you don't like me, fuck you. If you don't like the fact that I'm honest, fuck you. But I know how to catch a botter. And that guy is botting his ass off.